State leaders reminding everyone to protect yourself following that recent cyber attack at the Office of Motor Vehicles. And this morning, expert Michael Brimmer is joining us with extra steps. He's the vice president and head of Experian Global Data Breach Resolution. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining us this morning. Give us your expertise on this cyber attack. And then also, what are the risks that we face when it comes to identity theft? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, Reggie. Um, the MoveIt uh, breach uh, happened between companies that are transferring secure files. Um, this is a piece of software where the information that was transferred could be compromised. And in particular, in Louisiana, the Office of Motor Vehicles said that they had uh, information, including your social security number, driver's license number, name and address compromised in that. So it's a pretty severe breach and people should be absolutely suspicious about any activity going on with their credit file uh, or credit, credit reports in general. And what are the next steps? I know they've been telling us to make sure that we change our passwords, make sure that we also check our credit report. What are the next steps to make sure that we are being safe? Well, in addition to those two things, um, I would also make sure that you're not sharing any information with anybody else, or if you see something that is suspicious, that may be someone opening an account using that information, somebody asking for that information, suspicious mail that comes to your house, identity theft could be starting. And then you should follow the actions as directed by the Office uh, of Motor Vehicles because they sent out some very good instructions, as you pointed out. And so when it, whenever they say, like, change your password and check all that information, so if someone has checked that information, you know, say that they checked that information the exact day that they told us to do so, how often should we go, and they didn't find anything, how often should we go back to see if, you know, something is on our credit report? You can get a free copy of your credit file from every one of the bureaus once per year, but I would recommend signing up if you haven't for an identity theft protection service like Experian Identity Works uh, and checking it monthly. And if there's suspicious activity, you can call in, speak to a fraud resolution agent, and they can assist you with the particular concern you have. And when it comes to protecting ourselves, are there any types of mistakes that can happen that, uh, we, can, that we need to avoid? Yes, some basic things uh, are very simple hygiene things like don't use public Wi-Fi. Um, make sure that the, all your passwords for your home router have been changed. If you have a, a virtual private network and encryption, either through your internet service provider or you purchase that, that will protect your data as you use the internet and browse. And last but not least, because so many people are online with social media profiles, make sure you're not putting any personal information out on, on any of your social media profiles. Oh, wow. Okay, so you said not to use uh, public Wi-Fi. Just yesterday, I was actually getting my oil change, and I did use the public Wi-Fi at the mechanic shop. So you recommend against using that? Yes, because you don't know if just the address that you're picking up in the Wi-Fi is, in fact, a real address or it's secure. And a lot of the public Wi-Fi is even much less secure than your home Internet service provider office or if you have a, a virtual private network. Oh, wow. Well, is there a website where people can go and get more information on these safety tips? Sure, there's two places. First of all, you can um, look up Ask Experian uh, blogs, and there's blogs about how to protect yourself for identity theft, and then also www.experian.com forward slash data breach. You have lots of free and useful information.